Hmm. Interesting. Hi. As you all may know by now, here recently I've moved. For the almost three years, I I lived at a house on. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to give you the address, but a few blocks from where I'm at now. And for the first two years, it was nice. It was a very good place to live. Quiet neighborhood. A decent house that was built in 19, 1901. I didn't have any problems, and I was very happy living there. As you all seen, I've made I made a shitload of cringy videos where I was happy and having fun with the stuff I was making. But then, tragedy struck. The house got converted into a small apartment. I lost what was called my what I called my office. It was made into a studio apartment. And then I also lost my basement when it became part of that apartment. So I had to get rid of a lot of the stuff I owned and I got down in the basement. And the person who had moved in um, just made my life a living hell. Because he began to not live in the apartment that was made for him, he began living in the basement. Knowing full well that I my my floors were wood, they were old wooden floors. I'm overweight, so when I walk, the floors are gonna go creak, 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 creak. And he would have gone to the complain that I was uh, that I needed to sit down, I needed to stop fucking walking, because he, it was annoying him. Well, that's when I say, "Don't live in the basement, you motherfucker." And. I think it became obvious in the videos that I was becoming less happy where I was at. It was becoming harder to smile in videos. It was becoming harder to be funny, be creative with the characters the characters I was playing, whether they were my own or the cosplays that I do. It was becoming difficult. So, um, by October of 2020, I began preparations to move. Because I had... F Realized, and I come to to a determination that I could not continue living there because he was too difficult to to work to work with. I couldn't compromise with him. It would I would get up to take a shower, making too much noise. I was trying to do my laundry, making too much noise, trying to get up to cook some food, get making too much noise, trying to watch YouTube, making too much noise. That's why I don't like neighbors because more often than not, you're going to get one who thinks he's deserved the world on a silver platter, and quite frankly, people like that don't deserve shit. They don't even deserve a turd in the hand, to be quite frank. They deserve nothing, less than nothing. And um, by December, I had finally been look begun looking at apartments. Uh, I had begun looking at new places. And um, <clears throat> by March, I had been accepted back to an apartment complex where I lived at with my grandmother about seven years ago. And I am now living right across the street from that same apartment. I, I can look at my apartment and see the old apartment. And if you haven't noticed lately, I've been a lot more happy with the videos I've been making. I've been smiling, having more fun, being more creative. I've been having fun since I've been here. I've been happier. Now right now, I got like a heartburn. I just had some dominoes. Delicious, but ugh, kills your chest. And it's 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 a, it, I mean it's in a decent area. I mean I live in a city where there's all kinds of crime, so no matter where you go, you're gonna have uh, problems with people being stupid. But um, I'm living in a place where I where I'm familiar with. Where it's not that it's not, it's around places where I can walk to. Not much has changed, but I'm a whole lot happier if you haven't noticed, and which is odd because I'm autistic and I have not always liked change. Like when I was in eighth grade, we I moved for a short time with my grandmother from the house we I lived in since I was a child, because I've been I had been living with my grandparents since I was five years old, and we moved to an apartment outside of my current school uh, district 
So I had to transfer schools. I had to leave all my friends and all my favorite teachers behind in my middle school, in my last year of school, in middle school, to move to a new school. And the new school, nobody knew me. They didn't understand autism there. And I was called some horrible things. People made horrible rumors about me that I was racist, that I was this and that. And I'm anything but racist. I'm far from that. But people there just did not understand autism. They didn't understand the things I would say, the, the actions that I would, I would make. My grades began to fail. I wasn't happy. I was getting depressed for the first time in my life, which depression followed me up for, for a while. But my first thing with depression started when I was in that new school. So after about three months, we moved back to the old house. And I got to go back to my old middle school to graduate my, my, with my eighth grade friends. Change has never been good for me. I've never fully liked change unless it was something I wanted to do. Like, I've never made the decision unless it was something I wanted to do. If people made the decision for me, I would do everything I could to not do it. If it was possible for me to get out of it, I would fight their, their decisions that they were making for me. Because I have never liked, even when I was a kid, I have never liked for people to make decisions for me. I've always wanted to make my own decisions. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. If I don't want to do something, then I'm not going to. I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit down and keep my fucking mouth shut because I don't want to do it. I made the decision to move. That was me moving out of, the house, out of the house I was there for almost three years. I made that decision. That's why I was comfortable with it because I knew it was something I wanted to do because something I had to do. I had no other choice. So I made the decision to move before that somebody else could make it for me because if somebody made it for me, I probably wouldn't have moved because I didn't make the decisions. They would have made it for me and I would have been angry about it. So I've never liked change unless it was something I knew had to happen. Nothing changes in my life unless I make it, unless I want it to change. <laughs> um... I'm like, that's where you don't make much progress. Well, that's not that's that's my fault then, but I'll, I'll own that. It's my fault that I don't make a lot of progress with things. <laughs> but it's what makes me comfortable, and if it makes me comfortable, then who cares? You know, if it makes you comfortable, who the fuck cares? That, that's just all I, want, all I want to talk about. That I just so you all know, I've moved. I'm happier here, and sometimes change is for the best. <laughs>